Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a minute since I've done a sit down video, I feel. Um, and if you notice the scenery's changed, I'm just in a different room in the house. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about my weight loss journey. Um, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you would know that I have started a weight loss journey, um, which is a very big deal for me. And before anyone starts thinking that it's because I'm not happy with myself, that is not the case. Um, the reason behind this is a few months ago, I went to my GP and she'd noticed that I hadn't had any blood tests done before. So she thought it'd be a good idea for me to get my blood tests done and just cover everything. Um, and the only main, really the only concern at all that came from these blood tests was that I had insulin resistance, we were assuming. Um, which yeah, you're probably wondering what is that because I was wondering the same thing too. And it was kind of scary. Um, but what it is, I don't know this proper scientific definition, so like I'll put like a Google search up here to like kind of talk about it properly. But from my understanding, it's when you have a high insulin level. Um, and for me, it could possibly have been the cause for my weight loss, or it could be my weight loss, uh, no, sorry, I'm sorry, again. For me, it could be my weight gain that could be causing the insulin resistance, or it could be the insulin resistance causing my weight gain. And so the only way to obviously minimize that insulin resistance and get my, that insulin, insulin resistance down was to start losing weight. And I wanted to lose weight. I have wanted to lose weight for a very long time. Um, in the past, it has always kind of been because I wasn't happy with myself or I didn't like my body and felt that I needed to fit into society's expectations of what being beautiful is, um, which I have very thankfully and very gratefully proud of myself for coming out of that and realizing that I am beautiful either way. Um, but it is now because I want to improve my health. I want to get out of this insulin resistance and just be happy and healthy. And so that's where it all started. Um, and from that, we had to come up with a healthcare plan, um, which then led me to getting appointments with a dietitian as well as an exercise physio. Um, which I've never really heard, like I know what both, well I didn't know what the exercise physio was, um, but I knew what the dietitian was and I've obviously heard a bit about a dietitian and what they do and it's always been interesting and it very much was. So over the last couple of months I had two sessions with a dietitian and I had three sessions with an exercise physio. Um, and what we came up with, with the dietitian, was for me to be on a low to no sugar diet as well as low carb. Um, I have a lot of different foods that I have taken out of my diet. Um, and obviously everyone says balance is really important, but in my case, it wasn't. So I've taken a lot of food out of my diet, mainly obviously just fast foods and the typical unhealthy foods, um, which I have obviously found healthy substitutes for. Um, and with the exercise physio, um, I had three appointments where she went through a range of different little exercises with me for me to do at home. Um, and that ended up resulting in me joining a gym, um, which I love. I love going to the gym. And yeah, so at this point of time, I don't want to, at this point, I'm not ready to say what my weight was or what it is now. 
Um, I'm not 100% comfortable with that yet, but I am happy to say that over the last maximum of two months, I have lost around nearly 10 kilos. And for me, that is a super, and I'm sure for anyone, that would be a super, super big deal. Um, it's been hard. It's been really, really hard trying to adjust myself to a kind of different lifestyle. Um, but I have found so, so many benefits from it and I'm so proud of myself. Um, going into it, I always thought that exercise would be the hardest part and for me, it still is a little bit. It's Sometimes it takes a little bit more to kind of push myself for that motivation. Um, but I've honestly found that the food has been the hardest. Uh, not necessarily cutting out the bad stuff, um, but then again, kind of, because obviously it's that bad stuff that's more convenient. Um, but yeah, but I haven't, I'm really proud to say that I haven't strayed away from my diet that I've been on. Um, I did try one tiny piece of popcorn chicken and suddenly did not like it. Which for me is kind of sad because that was my all time favorite food, but I'm also proud of myself to obviously be at the extent where I find that greasy food hard to eat. Like I, I honestly couldn't swallow it. Um, but yeah, it's, and being on this diet and actually like pushing through with it and continuing it has really taught me how like hard it is to do and that for the people that do it and push through and even attempt to do it are so, so strong and have such like good willpower. Um, and it's, yeah, it's made me feel really happy and really proud of myself that I've been able to accomplish so much already. Um, so yeah, I will be on this weight loss journey obviously until I'm happy and healthy and even still I will obviously continue to eat healthy and keep my lifestyle from going back down to how it was. Um, I have struggled in some areas with like coming up with foods to eat and recipes and all that sort of stuff but I'm getting there and I've recently, well this morning actually, I just did a food shop and got a range of all these different stuff that I'm really excited to try, all these different recipes that I have found on Instagram through these two gorgeous girls accounts. Um, I will put their Instagrams here because their accounts have really inspired me and made me really excited to make all these different recipes and all these healthier foods and I'm very thankful for them. It is, we need more people like them in the world. Um, but yeah, I don't have too much more to say really. Like that's just kind of how it is. Um, there has been one time where I found it really like mentally hard um, in terms of food. Liam and I went to a little food festival, which yes, sounds really stupid considering um, like the fact that I can't eat anything. But um, yeah, I found it really difficult to be around all that food, but then came out of it really upset um, that I couldn't eat any of it. But now I look back and it makes me really, really proud that I was able to be around so much food that I couldn't have and didn't touch. And I think that's a really big thing is finding that willpower to stop yourself from actually having it, um, even when it feels like you want it. But it's also realizing that the more you don't have it, the easier it is to realize you don't need it. Um, so I've been, I haven't had the most interesting foods, I guess, at this point. Um, but my dietitian said that what I'm doing is on the right track. So for anyone that is interested, I have been starting off my morning with two pieces of low GI toast from um, Baker's Delight. And I have that with Nutlex, which is a vegan butter spread, which is low in fat and a slice of cheese. Um, 
and then for morning tea at work I would have some type of low fat, low sugar um, yogurt and depending on the type of yogurt I would have it with mixed berries which mixed berries are super super good to be eating um, and then that's really good because I mean who doesn't like mixed berries and yogurt um, and most of my lunches have consisted of salad I just kind of make up my own salad and just put whatever really in it um, but the main stuff I do put in a salad is spinach tomato cucumber chickpea corn and a tiny bit of feta and chicken um, and dinners is where I've been struggling so dinner will depend but if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen that recently I came up with two little foods that I've been loving and that is cauliflower pizza so it's made a cauliflower base or just cauliflower and then I'll just kind of choose what toppings I want on it depending on what I have and the other one is a chickpea pasta so pasta made purely from chickpeas which I'm obviously not meant to have too much of that either um, but it's really really good and obviously a lot better than eating your average pasta and yeah as I mentioned I have so many different foods coming in my shop this week and I can't wait to try all these different recipes that I found by Instagram from the two beautiful girls accounts obviously um, their links will also be in the bio below and yeah so um, if you want to see kind of more of a daily update of my weight loss and like the meals I eat and everything you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post a lot more of that sort of stuff um, but yeah I really hope that you've enjoyed hearing kind of about my weight loss and why and when and how I've been doing it um, it's been hard but I wanted to really say thank you to obviously the dietitian and my exercise physio GP and all of my family and friends that have been supporting me through it all um, it hasn't been easy and they make it that little bit easier but just with their support in general um, but yeah so thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one